Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, we will be learning how to sort an array of strings based on length. So this can be asked to you directly as a part of a coding challenge or as a part of a very complex question. Either way, it is really handy. So let's just start coding. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new class file and I'm going to name it sort by length because that is what we are doing. So let's just go ahead and write the main function. So that is public static void main string args. Now, whenever you think about sorting based on length, the first data structure that might come to your brain would be map. But comparator is of the best solution to this it is just three simple lines of code and you're good to go so let's just start with that so i'm just gonna write comparator string and i'm just gonna name it by length is equal to new comparator string String now I'm just gonna go ahead and import the comparator class. Now, if you're using an ID, it would just give you the suggestion directly that you have not implemented the method and you can just directly go ahead and click that. But if you're not using an ID, you have to go and type this function by yourself. So either ways, you just have to change one line of code that is. You just have to change the return function from z return zero to you just have to return o to o one dot length minus o two dot length. So that is it. O one dot length minus o two dot length. So that is it, guys. You just have to write this much piece of code and you are good to sort an array. So let's just try it with an actual array. So I'm just gonna write array list of type string here is equal to new array list of type string and yeah so i'm going to go ahead and just import the array list now i'm going to add strings to the list so i'm just going to do a little publicity of my channel so i'm just going to go ahead and add three strings those are concepts made and simple so first is uh, ar dot add concepts. Second is ar dot add made, and the last is simpler. So So yeah, so I'll just print the array before sorting. So ar dot sys out ar. I'll just write a blogger. So I'll just write before sorting and add a plus sign here. Now I'm just going to sort this array using the function that we have defined so i'm just going to write collections dot sort and i'm going to pass the array and the function that we have defined so yeah so collections is not imported so just import that and yeah now i'm just going to print it after sorting so i'm just going to write this out After sorting and the error list. So let's just run this code. So you can see that before sorting, uh, the array is printed based on the order of insertion. So you can see that it is printed as concepts, then made, and then simpler. But after sorting, it is printing based on the length since made is the smallest so it's made then simpler and then concepts 
so this is pretty much it for this video i hope you really like this question and this three lines of code is really handy to you and you can do a little more modifications to this code like if you have to sort the in descending order you can do o2 dot length minus o1 dot length so i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did just go ahead and like share subscribe to our channel please show us some love and until then please stay connected thank you for watching Subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification for our latest videos.